Hi Cancer, welcome to your weekly reading. This is going to be for Sun, Moon, Rise, and Venus, North Node placements in Cancer. Sun, Moon, Rise, and Venus, North Node placements in Cancer. So let's go ahead and see what Spirit wants you to know, Cancer. What does Spirit want you to know? Please protect me as I channel as well as the Cancer Collective. All right, let's tap into the element of water for Cancer's reading. What does Cancer want need to know, Spirit? Ooh, too many. What does Cancer need to know? Mm. What does Cancer need to know? Okay, you guys are spreading your wings, Cancer. Who did I get this for, was it? I don't know why I want to say Aries. And Leo. You might want to watch those. I'm not too sure if that's what it was, but yeah. So you guys are definitely making decisions at this time, Cancer, to spread your wings in some sort of way. Um, you could be deciding to embark on a new journey that leads you to your life purpose but whatever it is that you are doing whatever transformation or change that you're making I'm, I'm seeing that it's related to your life purpose here so let's see yeah this is expansion you guys are expanding okay expanding consciousness and you're freeing yourself from any of your fears or anything that could have been keeping you stuck okay there could have been things that were, keep, were keeping you stuck at some point um, that spirit wanted you to face. And because you're facing this, it's freeing you from some sort of confinement, okay? You guys are making some sort of decision that it looks like it's going to better your life. It says energies of expansion are around you now, Cancer. And because of this, you may be feeling restless and uncertain. So there could be something making you feel restless or uncertain. Um, your mind and your soul are ready to free yourself from something. But you may feel confined by certain relationships or certain ex, uh, aspects of those relationships. Although they may be comfortable and feel safe to you, Cancer, Spirit is saying it's possible that you know that something doesn't fulfill your needs anymore. Or this could be a career, a job, a relationship. But it's, it's clear that something doesn't fulfill you anymore, okay? Even the desire to be in a relationship can be restricting you. Because it becomes your focus and you forget to live your life to the fullest. Spirit is saying some of you, so for a lot of cancers, I know you're so lovable. People just, like I, I think I told you this last week. Okay, you're always looking out for other people. But what about you, cancer? Do you look out for you the way you look out for other people? It says sometimes when you think you have all that you could ever want, you realize that you now want something else. Some of you could be deciding you want something different than you thought you wanted. It says perhaps a relationship has grown a little too restricting or it's not exciting enough anymore for you. Or maybe it no longer meets your needs as you've evolved and changed, okay? I feel like I'm talking to a cancer who may have wanted something, but they've changed so much that now they're, they're not the same person anymore. Spirit is saying, what will it take to allow you to feel unrestrained and joyful at this time? Listen to your heart and which, what do you really want? What does your heart say, Okay. Remember to make any needed changes with love and compassion. All right. So you heard it, Cancer. You guys are in your north node. You've changed. You've evolved. You're tired. You don't want anything that is low vibrational. You are definitely merging and investing in yourself, and you're coming into union with your higher self, okay? 1111. You guys are definitely activating this divine masculine, divine feminine energy with the twin flame journey because you're moving on and letting go of things that have kept you limited. You're not limiting yourself anymore. You're letting go of things that kept you restricted. Oh, I like that, Cancer. Let's see. What does Spirit want you to know for this upcoming week? What does Spirit want you to know, Cancer, for this upcoming week? What messages for this upcoming week for Cancer? Tap in, Spirit. All right. There could be some anxiety. There, hang on, Cancer. I'm sorry, Cancer. My dog was barking. But yeah, you guys are freeing yourself from any regret or any guilt. Okay, or you need to. Gemini energy. You guys could be in a state of fear or feel burdened or overwhelmed about something. Okay, but you are at your breaking point. So Spirit is saying that it's important for you to find time to heal at this time, okay? There's something you need to heal. Yeah, some of you could be stressed out over money. There could be some financial hardships you could be experiencing at this time, uh, Cancer. Maybe you feel left out in the cold. Somebody could have 
made you feel that way and it could be hurting you it could be causing some sort of deep unhappiness all right or for some of you maybe you feel like the world is against you at this time there's a lot of struggling a lot of uh you know a lot of issues some of you could have lost your job and finances could be of importance at this time yes yeah, spirit is saying that you it's important for you to make some sort of transition here okay it does look like there are, there's a little bit of money problems showing up for you okay maybe there's somebody in your energy that doesn't appreciate you virgo energy aquarius taurus gemini energy coming up but spirit wants you to know that you are the king of pentacles okay you're somebody that is very abundant you're very successful um it's important for you to continue to better yourself and build your empire yeah, Spirit wants you to continue to invest in yourself because it looks like you're in the beginning phase with the Seven of Pentacles. You're growing at this time and you're working on your empire. You're working on that financial security. And even if there are a lot of problems when it comes to money, some of you are going to be moving on um, from this. You're going to be letting go of this. And some of you, this is all correlated to a relationship in your life, Pisces. Scorpio cancer showing up something could have been blocking your finances it could have been a person place or thing a habit uh, a fear or something that you were limiting yourself with okay but I see that you are going to be letting this go and moving on from it here you're going to be transitioning from this and going into the heart space so spirit is saying for you to move forward your guides are here with you on your journey they're guiding you to overcome this storm, to overcome this hardship you're facing. Um, but I do see there will be progress, okay? There will be progress because you're going to spread your wings in some sort of way. All right, let's go ahead and break some of this down for cancer. Yeah, you guys are taking swift action when it comes to your wealth, commitments, and your power. All right, let's see. What is the nine of swords for cancer? Nine of swords is not a fun place to be. Okay. Stuck in your head. Trying to figure out how to cope with life. This is maybe where you were in the past. Yeah, maybe there could have been a family situation. And there could have been some problems with like a government entity or corporate entity or, you know... There could have been a marriage or some sort of relationship where there was a lot of financial problems. A lot of financial problems. A lot of betrayal, a lot of uh, backstabbing, a lot of rock bottom energy, okay? And this is what could have, this could be coming up and you could be experiencing these fears. These fears when it comes to money, all right? What's the Ten of Swords with the Ten of Pentacles in reverse? We have the nine of wands. Yeah, you're you're letting go of a lot of fears and burdens here. Okay, you're dropping all of this. You're dropping this. What's the what's the five of pentacles for cancer? For some of you, you're deciding to kick somebody out, or this could have been a loving situation or a lover situation. Gemini Virgo energy. You're deciding to detach and block somebody out of your energy. Okay. You're deciding to let go of a lover that you don't trust, uh, somebody that is not equal give and take with, somebody that just takes and takes and takes from you, like we talked about earlier, okay? Something is not fulfilling you. This person could have put you in a third party. I'm also getting an energy that was promiscuous. Three of Cups in reverse. Yeah, you're choosing not to reconcile with someone. Some of you could be spending time by yourself, Cancer, too. You're choosing not to reconcile with someone. You're doing a lot of subconscious healing, okay? There's a lot of fears that you're healing at this time that you're blocking out. So Spirit is saying that it's important for you to take a leap of faith right now, Cancer, okay? Regardless if this means for you to walk away from something and spread your wings and go in a different direction... This leap of faith is going to bring a lot of healing, a lot of joy, and a lot of power into your hands. So it's important for you to take this leap of faith and go towards what you want. All right, let's see. What's the, what's the Six of Swords? Future Energy, Six of Swords. I don't 
don't normally use these cards. You guys are doing things you normally don't do, okay? Ace of Pentacles in reverse. You're moving on from um, possibly a, like money loss or poverty. You're moving on from this hardship here. Spirit is saying you're gonna you're gonna move on to this because you're gonna decide to heal, and it's gonna bring in a lot of progress. Okay, there is a situation though that you need to look into. Something needs to be released. There needs to be a release so it can make room for something bigger in your life, Cancer. For some of you, this could be an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, somebody that was very impulsive, abusive, somebody that um, didn't appreciate you. This person needs to be released, okay? This could be somebody that has these placements in their chart, somebody from your past. Um, it looks like somebody needs to be released for finances to start improving because I'm not going to lie, Cancer, it looks like Spirit was trying to punish you for allowing people so much access. Not really punish you. I don't want to use those words. But it looks like you were basically being pushed into a different direction and you may have went backwards. And Spirit's like, no, Cancer, you need to, you need to spread your wings. You need to go this way because this person you're looking at, they don't appreciate you. Page of Pentacles in reverse. What's the Page of Pentacles in reverse? Yeah, somebody is lazy. They don't want to put the work in. Okay, somebody could be non-committal. They could be, you know, bad with their finances. Somebody that juggled you. And you've had to heal from this person. Okay? Yeah, somebody has put you through a lot. A lot. And they kind of created a lot of stagnant energy. So let's see. What else? 888. We have karma here. Who did I just do? What video did I do? I just did Gemini. Gemini got 888 too. Some of you could have Gemini placements or could be dealing with a Gemini. Um, we do have Gemini, Taurus, and Aquarius out here. Leo, Aries, Sagittarius as well. Um, so let's see. Yeah, there's balance coming in. Karma, okay, with your finances. There could be some success, wealth, cycles, what goes around, come around. So, yeah, there's karma showing up. So there was some karma that needed to be cleared out. And it could be hitting your finances if you haven't done the work and spread your wings. It says a lot of money is coming your way. Fortune refers to more than just monetary and material success, though. If you don't appreciate the people in your life, you won't have them tomorrow. Spirit wants you to focus on the people that you have in your life, people that have been there for you, okay? Not the people that you have to beg to show up for you. This message encourages you to take personal responsibility and use it to realize your greatest potential. Realize your greatest potential, okay? Let's see. We have 111, intuition in reverse. So you're not trusting your intuition about something, Cancer. It says moderation. Something needs to be done in moderation. If this is an addiction we're talking about or some sort of habit. It says patience, flow, clarity, joy, movement, self-realization, taking action, and unconditional love. So Spirit is saying it's time for you to implement long cherished ideas you may have um, so you can get on the right track toward making your dreams and visions a reality. The right people, the right circumstances and resources are being sent your way. Happiness and new opportunities are at hand, so trust in the process. Okay, continue to trust your intuition. There could be a new beginning that Spirit is trying to bring to you, but you need to trust your int intuition when it comes to this transition. 1313 out here. It says encouragement, goals, foundations, creative ventures, communication. So step out of your comfort zone. You are about to create something meaningful. Alrighty, you're headed towards something meaningful here, uh, here with a strong foundation. I can't talk. Like you're reading, I'm like messing up my words and yeah, throat chakra energy. There's something that you're not, you're not being authentic with yourself about something that you need to say, some sort of truth that you need to communicate here. Um, don't beat me up in the comments, Cancer. This is just what's coming up in the reading. It says all your skills and your talents will bring you auspicious profits. Build up your confidence and trust in your decisions. You need to trust yourself right now. Okay, I feel like I'm talking to a Cancer that really needs to trust their self. What is the page of pentacles in reverse for Cancer? Can I get one more? 
We have 2112. It's up to you, okay? Someone is watching over you. Um, there's good fortune, unforeseen forces, and direction showing up. Even if it seems like you're not making any meaningful progress, things are moving in the right direction. If you see this number, it's a sign that everything will work out in your favor and your dreams will come true soon. So you are protected here, but it's important that you make this change and not be rebellious against any guidance spirit is guiding you towards, okay? It's all for the sake of love. All right, let's go ahead and get some weekly advice for you. 15.38 on the timer. Weekly advice for Cancer Spirit. Because my stomach's growling, I need to eat something. Okay. What is the weekly advice for Cancer? What is the weekly advice for Cancer Spirit? Weekly advice. Ooh. Okay, so we have judgment out here. All the, all the signs say that you're exactly where you're supposed to be. You're exactly where you're supposed to be, Cancer. Okay, this is happening. You could have a, ki a cat. But Spirit is saying you are exactly where you need to be. Okay, some of you could feel impatient. Spirit is saying it's important for you to practice patience at this time. Learn to get comfortable with sitting still whenever necessary as you wait for your prayers, your manifestations, your dreams to manifest. Okay, Spirit is saying if your life is stale or if it feels stale, it's important for you to explore new scenery. Get out there. Go towards something new. Spread your wings. Yeah, some of you need to pack your bags. <laughs> it says all aboard. It's time to write a new chapter. Okay, it's time to write a new chapter. It's time for something new. What is this? One more. One more for advice. One more for advice for Cancer Spirit. One more. Okay. This wanted to come out here. I'm going to take both. We have the Empress in reverse. There is beauty to be, fa uh, to be found in every experience. Some of you need to change your perspective. Especially when it comes to love. Okay. It says some people are like pumpkin to your spice. You could be getting a new beginning when it comes to love. Yeah, Spirit is just telling you to take back your power, okay? Whoever this is in your energy that tried to hurt you, I'm getting strong Taurus, Libra energy. Spirit is saying, guess what? This person cannot defeat you. They can't. Okay, we also have Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Aquarius, um, Gemini, Gemini energy, fixed energy, Leo as well. So just know that whoever this could be, they cannot defeat you. You're... You're protected, all right? Go ahead and trust your intuition. Trust what your intuition is telling you to do. All right, so Cancer, that has been your weekly uh, message. I do hope it resonated. Please work with the color blue. It helps with the throat chakra um, and maybe sit in like a throat chakra meditation because there's something with your communication that could be off here because I'm having a hard time channeling for you when it comes to speaking. So if I'm talking to you, I'm talking to you. If not, then please take what resonates and leave the rest. And Cancer, if you do resonate, please feel free to like, share, and subscribe. And I will talk to you guys later. Bye, Cancer.